best thing about the race, it's wonderful history going back more than 100 years. The handicapping system and the compelling story that that makes for all the locals to be a part of it. It's an institution. Probably the most beautiful run you can do. If you live within 20 miles of here, this is the biggest deal all year. That's what sets it apart and has made winners of unlikely people. You know, there's, there's a million stories. It's just something that's so special. There's, there's nothing else like it. The best thing is that it's been around for so long. In 1904, William Kent builds the Dipsy Inn, and some guys from the Olympic Club come out to see it, and they say, hmm, let's see who can get there first. And they made a race out of it. It's like any of the cross-country races. There are people from all over the world. There are people from all different clubs. But you know them. It's hard as heck. It's a lifestyle. Most of the entrants are locals. They know that they're part of something special. It's participating in this race with so many other people. It's nature's most beautiful course. At the start of that race, it's one of the most anxious times of the year for, I think, anybody. If you look here at the start, the energy is all about... Blue G to the corral. Maroon F to the rope. All W's to the rope. The energy at the start line, even in the month leading up to it, and race day, just the, the energy in the square. All right, everybody, get ready, because your race begins in five, Four, three, two, one. Oh, get ready. It's like nothing you've ever experienced. It is awesome. Then this is a challenging race with some alternate routes that are okay to take. I like running through it. I feel like I'm the predator running through here, like Arnold Schwarzenegger's after me. Narrow trails, steep hills. Woohoo! You know, a narrow, dangerous you know, trail. It's dangerous. <laughs> It's the hardest race in the universe. You can't be a wimp. You can't think you're going to fall. You can't be a wimp. As people may know, it's a handicap race, so you get head start minutes based on your age and your gender. Two, one. You cannot be afraid of stairs. Uh, and then the advice is the stairs, they can't make your race, but they can break it. Suicide. And the name says it all. No, come on. Go on. It is so treacherous. It's slip and slide. Now suicide is my least favorite just because I don't want to go down on my rear. Dynamite, there's always traffic. It's hard, it always backs up. There's a lot of on your left. Everybody's got the same right on the trail. 
if there's two slower people that might be very different paces. And I have to realize like, no, no, like this, this person is just as much right to pass this other person as I do. On your left, on your left. You guys, you guys. Thanks, appreciate it. Cardiac. And that's probably everybody's least favorite because that's a quarter mile of sheer roots and hell. Right on. Right on. Good job. Good job. How do you get down this route? Where do you put your feet? Where are you going to land? To me, I have no idea how people get down steep ravines. I mean, I think that those little medals, finisher medals they give you, are actually more of a symbol of accomplishment than the winner's trophy. The top 35 black shirts. You know the routine, when your name is called, we start 35, work our way to one. Only one person can win, but a bigger group has a chance at a shirt. And winning a shirt, I believe, makes some people every bit as happy as winning the race. Let's give a big cheer for the Dipsy, the greatest race. I mean, the volunteers, they come back here after your families have grown up here. The runners appreciate the, the volunteers and they show it. Everybody that gets involved with it, they just, they enjoy it. It's a, it's, it is, it's like a family. The Dipsy family, where year after year, people come back to this event, because it's all volunteers that make it happen. Jack Kirk, he was out here in his little brown trousers and his yellow shirt. And his mind was sharp. Yeah, Jack was always my favorite. Etta, she knows everything. If you want anything or you need anything, Etta will get it done. Mm -hmm. She's the heartbeat of the race. Once you get into it, you get addicted to it. The Dipsy is like my spark. It is a wonderful family tradition. As I've gotten to know the trails, it's become one of the coolest races I know. Everybody's got a story, and that's the beautiful part about it. And the special, what's the most special race there is? Dipsy. It's a phenomenon. I love the race. It lasts all year long. I train for it year long. You start training the day after Dipsy Day, 
it's just non-stop through the year. I think what is special is that everybody thinks that it's special. Nothing like the Dipsy.